What does Denver Nuggets star Tom Hammonds have that Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson don't have? Well, I've got the quickest, quickest street car in the world. Uh, my, I got, I've got a 69 Camaro, uh, uh, Gene Fulton uh, powered uh, 69 Camaro that I've had for about eight to 10 years now. To drive the lane and drive in the fast lane, you have to be able to make adjustments. A lot of people don't really uh, uh, comprehend uh, how tall I am, uh, how can I fit in the car, I mean, uh, but once you see my street car, I mean, uh, uh, the, the seat's sitting there pretty far back, I get in there and I fit pretty comfortably. I had a match race in Englishtown, New Jersey, uh, the early part of the summer, and uh, uh, had, had a lot of New York Knicks fans up there, but uh, uh, they, they really didn't boo me too much, they didn't, matter of fact, they didn't boo me at all, I think they were really excited about seeing my car run, they were really excited about seeing a pro ba professional basketball player uh, drag race, and I think that... Uh, there were, it was a win-win type situation for me. Tuning a seven-second streetcar takes dedication, much like the discipline it takes to wage war during the grueling NBA season. Tom brings to the basketball court a lot of intensity, a lot of string, a lot of power, and he carries that over to the racetrack, <laughs> from what I understand. Sometimes when guys are, are half-stepping, he'll get on you, and uh, he's one that, you know, he don't care if he hurts your feeling or not. He know that you got to get it done, and he'll do what it takes. I am pretty intense on the basketball court. I'm, I'm intense when I'm driving my car, especially when I'm racing against somebody else. Uh, I love to win, and... Uh, the only way to win is to, is to treat it like a business. Hey, uh, you're trying to take something that I have or, or, or something that I want, and I, and I want it. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you that I want it more. For a guy who spends so much time above the rim, Tom Hammonds never looks down at anyone. I'm just a down-home guy. I come from a small town, and uh, I, I, I wasn't brought up that way. I brought, was brought up in the church, and uh, my grandpa's the pastor of, uh, of a church in my hometown, and uh, I was brought up in the church, and I was never taught to treat anybody uh, any differently. I mean, I, I, want to, I, want, I want to treat people like I want them to treat me. They expect a professional athlete to be kind of stuck up. I'm not, I'm not like that. I, I talk to anybody. I mean, if you, need an, if you want an autograph, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to sign an autograph. And, and a lot of people don't understand why uh, professional athletes are like that. They expect them to be stuck up and, and uh, stuck on themselves, but uh, I'm not like that at all. Basketball is Tom's first love, but these days, multi-sports stars are becoming commonplace. I think he'll better drive it in basketball. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Though. <laughs> well, I eventually, eventually would like to uh, professionally race. Uh, I'm not gonna gonna particularly point out one class, but I've always been a door slammer type guy. I've always uh, admired the pro stock uh, classes, uh, but at the same time, I'm not gonna rule out top fuel. And who would Tom rather face, Warren Johnson or say Charles Barkley? You know, that's a pretty good comparison. Uh, pretty much, th those guys are pretty much. Not two dominant forces in their in their particular fields, but I, I, I think I'd rather face uh, Warren Johnson and, and Charles Barkley. <laughs> uh, I look forward to that challenge.